And so I'm going to do this video. It's really not scripted. I just caught this on Christian News Network. Uh, I, I boycott Hillsong. This is one of the most vile, evil organizations on the face of the earth. I can't even, it's, and, and I, I apologize for pausing. I want to make sure I get my words right. It, it's so shocking, some of the stuff that they get away with, that it just boggles my mind. And now, as of late, we have Carl Lentz, Pastor Carl Lentz, the hipster doofus of Hillsong, New York City, taking selfies with Oprah Winfrey, one of the most notorious worldwide Satanists in world history, for she will be responsible for leading tens, if not hundreds of millions, straight to hell. And here he is, a supposed man of God, taking selfies in his leather jacket, with a notorious Satanist. Of course, he did an interview with Oprah during a recently aired episode of Oprah Winfrey's Super Soul Sunday. Now, the funny thing is she's working the souls from the other side. Super Soul Sunday would probably refer to her dragging souls to hell because we know she's a Satanist. Hipster Hillsong New York City leader Carl Lentz replied, in the negative, when asked by the popular talk show host if he believes only Christians can be in a relationship with God. And of course, this answer is going to be very Joel Olstein-ish. Oprah said, do you believe that only Christians can be in a relationship with God? And of course, right on cue, just like Joel Olstein, this fraud said, no. I believe that when Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, well, the way that I read that is, here it comes, right? Jesus said that he's the road marker. He's the map. No. What a filthy, acid-washed jeans-wearing hipster Satanist. So I think that God loves people so much that whether they accept him or reject him, he's still gracious, really. Has this guy ever read the Bible? Wow. And he's still moving. Good news. He's still giving you massive red blinking lights. Not, not a couple of small, but massive red blinking lights for chances to take a right turn where maybe you take a left. But I believe God loves people. Here we go. And that's what this whole gospel is based on. It's love. You take the love out of it, we've got a moral book. All right. Is this true? John, we're in chapter 14. We're going to go down to verse 6. One of my favorite verses. Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by love. No, but by me. This is called a mic drop. And it's not just a mic drop for doofus Carl Lentz. It's a mic drop for Hinduism, Confucianism, Buddhism, yoga, Taoism, Islam, and every other cult and every other lie that's ever existed. Jesus Christ stood up here and said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. You want truth? It's through Jesus. You want to live? It's through Jesus. What's the way to life and truth? It's through Jesus. By me, said Jesus Christ. You can't misinterpret that. So when you come back to Captain Doofus, you cannot, that, that's one of the most easily discernible verses. You cannot say, now the way that I read, but see, this is the problem in the end times here. And you see that actually quite a bit here on YouTube. Well, the way that I see that, no, you can't do that. It's, you know, scripture tells us it's not open to personal interpretation. Now, as the rest of the article goes, he, of course, says he really enjoyed his time with Oprah filming for her Super Soul Sunday. Of course, he loves snuggling up to celebrities. He calls her a culture changer. While the photo generated thousands of likes on social media, others raised concern over the Hillsong leader's appearance with the television celebrity. who once said, there are many ways and many paths to what you call God. Does God care about your heart, or does God care about if you call his son Jesus? What a Satanist. 
What a filthy Satanist Oprah is. She, I'll tell you, one second after her, she steps into eternity. Boy, oh boy. Uh, one person wrote, uh, Oprah is a pagan with New Age beliefs, which is true. For many years, she has stated that there are many paths to God, which is true. And she denies that Jesus said the way is narrow, which is true. Now, here's where this spineless coward lens goes on after there was a bit of an eruption on Twitter and the social media. And he said, I don't like when people argue about the Bible. Can you believe that? No, for most of you that don't realize this, also I invite you to read the entire chapter of Matthew 23. What do you think Jesus did while he was here on earth? All he did was walk around and preach and talk and in many aspects debated. He raised his voice. He called the opposition names. Names like hypocrite, devils, snakes, vipers, children of hell. But did you ever hear Jesus say, well, I just don't like it when people argue. No. Sometimes you do need to debate and argue to get to the truth. You may actually lead somebody to the truth, which is what Captain Ringneck should have done, telling Oprah, you know what? You better stop telling people that there's multiple paths to heaven. There's not. There is only one, Jesus Christ. But he didn't do that. Didn't do that. He said, I don't check these comments often. Well, he should. Isn't that what his job is? I mean, we, we do live in a world of social media. There are people with questions. Let me give an example. Maybe one of the comments said, I'm on my last rope. Please help me. What do I do? But he doesn't check his comments. He's too busy palling around with Justin Bieber and Oprah Winfrey. And the further I read on in this thread, I'm reminded to do it less and less. So he said, you know what? If people don't start getting nicer, I'm really not going to read these comments. What a spineless. Oh, my gosh. I will say that I can no longer allow people to use my comment section as their own personal theology blog. Can't do it wrecks my picture and becomes almost embarrassing. Wow. Again, one second into eternity. Goes on, it gets worse. This week, Bobby Houston, the wife of Hillsong Australia leader, Brian Houston, you all know Brian, don't you? Also defended the appearance, opening that it was a God-honoring spirit breathed in Jesus' front and center interview. Good grief. Somebody pointing at a blue sky and trying to tell you that it's red? But that's the end times here. This is what constitutes outright delusion and lies. She goes on, and sadly the God haters and the Hillsong haters and the Oprah haters will be frothing and manifesting, she wrote. How dare her? Almost insinuating that there's a bit of persecution but lumping God and Oprah in the same category, as though they were being hated for the same reason, for being great? Wow, think about this right here. Think about this sentence right here. Absolutely amazing. So we come back to really what's an end times go-to verse and wonder, is there anybody paying attention? Is there anybody self-examining to see if they're in the faith? 2 Timothy 4. And of course, I'm going to start verse 2. Preach the word, be instant in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, and exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. There is only one doctrine. See, this is the crux right here. Look what it goes on to say. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lusts they shall heap themselves hipster doofuses, having itching ears. See, that's the thing. Oprah wants to be told that it's okay what she's doing. And basically what she asked acid wash jeans was, is it okay what I'm doing? And he affirmed her, it's okay, Oprah. You don't have to love Jesus. The important thing is that he loves you. It's all about love, see? And she smiles and they hug and they take selfies. Just like this spineless smiling, suited doofus, I guess, 
He's big buddies with Oprah Winfrey. And again, spineless because he doesn't have the guts to tell her that she's going to hell for her doctrines of devils. Horrible, horrible, horrible person. Let's finish this. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth, which is in scripture. Remember, he, ironic because Jesus said he's the truth, right? In John 14, 6. And shall be turned unto fables. Now, would it be safe to say that lying to Oprah and telling her that the gospel is love, that that's a fable? It absolutely is a fable. Certainly not the truth. And you know, here's the thing, folks. This is all out in the public. The question is, what are you going to do with this now that you have the knowledge? I would hope that you would turn in toward Jesus Christ and walk toward him. Certainly don't walk toward this. This effeminate, whatever he is. Well, Drew, you're just, you're just being too judgy, Drew. And you know, there's something to be said about jean jackets in the end times. I'm not sure. That seems to be a common thread, uh, so to speak, with some of these false teachers. Or I guess stylish, you know, necklines pulled almost down to your belly button, wearing chains. Hey, guys, I'm just a dude like you. We're all just chilling out together and hanging out buds right there's no order this is all i see so here's the thing as i wrap this up feel free to pray for pastor carl lentz he's leading a very large flock of some 9,000 people in the new york area certainly pray for the celebrities that he's shepherding uh, if you feel led to do so if you come at me, let me leave you with this. If you're going to come at me and try to defend Carl Lenz, who is clearly preaching a false doctrine, remember what it says in 2 John chapter 1 and verse 9. Whosoever transgresseth and abideth not in the doctrine of Christ hath not God. He that abideth in the doctrine of Christ, he hath both the Father and the Son. This is where you want to be. I know it's hard. It's if you like Hillsong and you like their music, that's one thing you're going to have to struggle with uh, because I'd rather be found in the doctrine and the truth of Jesus Christ than listening to the pleasures of this earthly music for a season. Abide in Jesus Christ. There is no other way, contrary to what hipsters tell you.